What is up, heroes? This is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Soma Blind. In the last episode, we made our way down the climber, I believe, and we had a, a friend show up who had followed us all the way down here, and now we are about to head out into the abyss and see just what lies in store for us. I'd imagine it's going to be rather dangerous. Rather threatening. Oh, a little bit of frame rate struggle in there, but it's all good. Alright, so nothing immediately visible in the area around us, at least in terms of like collectibles and all that. Things look, admittedly, I, I can tell there's some sort of like filter being applied to the visuals here. Things look a little bit blurrier than I like, admittedly. Error, Lumar, link needed to call climber. Okay. Where do we want to go in here is the question. So, danger area unsafe, stay close to the lights. Lovely. Just what I like to read. So, where are we? Oh, we're actually, I mean, we have a few buildings here we can explore, and then we can head on our way to Tau. So, I think that is what we will do. Can we go in here? We can. What are we going to find in here? An ACR log. From August 3rd. And then going through September, all right. So first one, sign, Julia Dahl, Richard Holland, sample collection, physical pick, physical checkup, and then check. All right, a little over a month later, Tau evacuation. Okay, failed, yikes. And then a few months later, bringing the Ark to Phi. Huh. All right, so things clearly didn't uh, work out as planned. We can't sign in, can we? Can we open this? Nope. Does not seem so. But it looks like there may be a puzzle of some sort we could try to solve behind there. But if we truly can't access it, then so be it. Yeah, clearly a, a lot has gone on down here with regards to WoW. What are we going to find in here? Data buffer available. Okay. What are we going to find? Tao? Come in, Tao. Please answer, Tao. Nothing. It's dead. Let's move out. We'll try the next one. So the first question is, is Tao dead or is it the communications that we're experiencing the problem? I would bet that it was the latter. Can we do anything here? Nope. All right. We'll head out. There should be two more buildings on the right and two more buildings on the left as well. We'll avoid the darkness. I will say, with the filter and everything, this darkness doesn't actually look as nice as some of the other environments. Maybe it looks better on, like, a PS4 Pro. Master switch, 6,600 volts. We'll flip the switch without even really knowing what it does. For better or for worse. You gonna find anything interesting in here? Doesn't really seem so at the moment. I would be surprised if there was nothing in this room, though. But it really doesn't look like it. It's like a refueling station of some sort, maybe? Alright, well I guess we'll head across the way. What do we have here? Warning. Faulty, faulting activity? Strong torrents expected. Oh, interesting. So that's going to be part of the obstacle, right? So we came, we're at the climber station now. We're going to have to go to the observatory, then TVSD, and then we'll make it to Tau, and then there's Phi after that. Okay, and we can expect plenty of strong torrents along the way. Which will surely pose a problem for Simon 2.0 here. I thought there were more buildings, but maybe not. What do we have here? Oops. Jesus, did you see that? Stick to the lamp lights, they won't go near them. I call them Falgla. 
Lhasa. It's important I reach Omicron. Our future depends on it. Calm down. Let's just follow the path. If I die, I need you to tell Julia Dahl that the wow is out of control. She needs to get to Sarang. He'll know what to do. Raj, you can tell them yourself. We just need to pick up the pace, okay? Glass! We lost the path! We need to go back! I know where to go. Come on! It's over there! The light is over there! Final push, Ross. Almost there. We just... <laughs> Dang. And they really were so close, too. That's that's rough. Sorry to hear that about our friends. Clearly so much was riding on their backs. You can hear so much movement going around. Danger, stay close to the lights. Blue leads to Tau, red leads to the climber. Alright, that is good to know. Blue leads to Tau. Alright. Well let's get a let's get a move on. Ah, uh, yes, so they they have two different sides. This is pretty nice. I'd imagine the lights are about to get more distant from one another fairly soon. Oh. Oh my. That is certainly a, a beast. I don't want to mess around with that now, do I? Oh, and then these are the strong torrents. Luckily, we're actually, I'm not experiencing too much in terms of resistance to movement at the moment. So I'm not really sure how these torrents are supposed to impact gameplay. I mean, for all I know, they could just be an effect, right? Okay, stay close to the lights. All right, same old instructions. You probably need to go in here to turn off one of the switches to turn on the lights or something like that, right? Before we do that though, let's investigate the area. Oh, we got another one of our one of our fist pound friends. Hand tastes a little bit different this time around, right? Different body. Okay. That clearly had a negative impact on the electricity of the uh, of the room we're in. Are these... Oh, yeah, these must be some of the animals they find down here. Yikes, that thing looks menacing, to say the least. What are we going to find here? Inventory. Um, variety of foods. Nothing particularly interesting. And then we have mission logs. Okay, observation number 134. Lure dried squid, one kilogram. 60 pieces of anima, LAL, cameras, quad HDR. Results target frilled shark. Description. Rare shark approached the luminous lure. Circled around to eat the dried squid. Unlikely that it frequents this depth. An anomaly. Okay. Observation number 172. What is this? The giant squid. Mantle the size of a man, 170 to 200 centimeters. Estimated length of the whole thing is 10 to 12 meters. Frantic attack tore the marlin apart. As soon as we turned on the lights, it quickly fled the area. Clearly another specimen affected by the leaking structure gel. Partially covered in scales, a newly formed bone structure protruding through the mantle. Wow. And then lastly, ooh, this is the one that's based off the anglerfish. Look at that, that definitely looks the creepiest of them all. So target unknown. The creatures disfigured by the gel are manic and will attack anything. Still hard to determine how WoW has affected their behavior beyond their apparent aggression and affinity with light. The creatures seem to hunt something particular. Something not present in this ecosystem. Huh. That's an interesting note. Statistics, item number one. The humpback whale, population size. It took a sudden dip and then steadily increased. I'd imagine that's as a result of wow or something like that. And then it's going to be fairly similar for the giant squid and then the anglerfish error. Unable to load data. Lovely, lovely. Just what we love to see. So just kind of quantifying how WoW has impacted everything going on here. Alright, um, oh that's right, we gotta turn on the lights. Excuse me.
So, the whole point of this has been to tell me <laughs> that I need the lights on. Now you're not going to let me turn the lights on? Come on. Try really hard, Simon. Can I not do anything about it? So this is a different exit. And there are no lights. I, I have to imagine that this is... Well, I guess what I can do is... See those lights up there? Follow this cord? And hope that that'll take me to the lights up ahead? Oh, I see something off in the distance on the right. Okay, well, we see lights again, which is nice. It is good to know that we will experience static when one of those enemies is close to us, so we'll know to slow down, or at the very least to halt and hug one of the lights, right? The torrents, I think, are more so than anything meant to just obscure our vision. Oh my goodness, what happened again? Sorry about that. What the heck? Seriously? I literally, like, come back to the game just to find I'm getting attacked by these fish? What the heck? I'm literally right next to the light. Alright, so this is obviously not working out super hot. Um, so we're, we're super dead, which is not very good. I don't think the light was working out as uh, well as I would have liked, but yeah, my PS3 is like automatically updating, and it diverts the HDMI. We are just getting bodied by these fish right now. So yeah, my, my PS3 automatically updated, and because it's hooked up to the same HDMI splitter, it drew the attention to that. and. And I paused and went to the PS menu, but I guess that doesn't stop things from happening real time, unfortunately. So by the time I got back to the PS4, I turned it on, I was just immediately getting mauled by those fish. Yeah, but so I spent a minute in my PS3's menus and made sure to try not to let that happen again. Oh, so they just travel in, like, a school. There's a whole bunch of them. But yeah, so that hopefully doesn't happen again. I'm surprised it hasn't happened in the first, like, 12 episodes, and then just recently, it started happening a whole bunch. I can feel, like, the vibrations of the controller going, getting pretty intense at the moment. Those sounds are rather intimidating. We can get some sort of solace in these little, you know, containers, which is nice, but at the same time... It's kind of an odd, uh, interesting stealth segment here. We obviously want to stay in the light, but at the same time... Aw, oh man. I can see a little bit of static distortion coming. More of it. Uh-oh. They're gonna come through. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna sit down. And we're gonna get behind this, and hopefully, oh my goodness, the most clutch dodge ever. The most clutch. Look at them all there. You gonna head out? It seems like they might uh, they might be on a cycle of some sort. I'm curious to observe their pattern. They eventually disappear, or are they really just gonna loop around here over and over? It seems like it. Oh, what? Seriously? I try to sneak away, and sure enough. You guys wanna leave me alone for once? Please? You're literally just. You have me surrounded. I really don't feel like there's much I can do here. I think I'm gonna go with the tried and true sprint once I think I'm far enough away. Alright, three, 
two, one, let's go for it. It sounds like they're onto me. It totally sounds like they're onto me. You can see the static is getting more and more intense, like they're getting closer to me. And now, maybe things have actually briefly calmed for a moment. We'll check that out in a second. For the moment, I want to take refuge in this little area here. Okay. Yeah, I'm curious, what was over this way? I don't really know, but I, I want to take a look. Is this something of interest? Or no? I guess not, just really cool scenery. Truly, really neat scenery. Alright, well, we'll head into this area and see what we can find. So we got to be careful of electrocution in here. Don't really know what we're going to find. Insufficient power. What does this say? Don't really know. We have our friend here. He's going to heal us up. Maybe this is that halfway point, right? There was the observatory, which I think we've already been to. Ah, oh, that's right, I forgot it was going to take out all of the, the lights. But I think this is that, like, TDS place. Tao, can you hear this? Anyone there? This is Tao? Who is this? This is Ian Peterson of Theta calling. I got a team with me, and we're about half a kilometer from Tao. What? How, how did... You came in the climber? Listen, we're having a really hard time with this sector. Heavy turbulence is making it difficult to move forward, and the wildlife you got is absolutely rabid. The storm comes and goes. The instruments show the weather is relatively fair right now. You should move out as soon as possible. Stick to the lights. The critters should leave you alone. All right, you heard the man. We're moving out, people. Tao, keep the doors unlocked. We're coming in. So, I mean, the lights haven't been super helpful for us, to be honest. So there's the master switch, it looks like the power's been cut maybe, so we'll, we'll try hitting it. Oh! It actually seemed to be effective, which is nice. What do we have over here? Interesting. Tau and Phi... How are they're getting their energy from some sort of like magma geothermal energy or something like that? I don't know. Seems intense. Here's the garage in here. Anything of note? Doesn't look like it. Alright, then it seems like the next thing we have to do. Wow, it is dark. Is to head back out. I wonder if we can make use of this on the left. Control. Observatory. ACR landing. Tau. Or recall. So right now, we are where? Beacon offline. What about the observatory? Beacon offline. What about Tau? Oh, I see. So this thing is going to provide the light necessary to keep us safe. Presumably. As it goes to Tau. And so that's what we actually powered. Not lights, but this robot. Oh, come on. Don't be giving me that. It's so dark. You gotta keep that light going, buddy. I don't remember what your name is, what type of robot you are, but right now, you're everything to me. <laughs> your light goes out, and we're toast. Although I bet that's how this little segment's gonna end. It's like we get to the end of the pathway. Oh my! That was pretty creepy. But we're like, we get to the end of the pathway, and then at the end of the pathway, all of a sudden the lights flicker. What is that on our right? Oh my. What the heck? So that... Did that just eat? What? Are you kidding me? 
What do I do? Okay, game loading the music again there for a second. It just... It just ate the robot! Wow, game is really kind of struggling uh, <laughs> with all these effects. That's alright, I guess. I mean, we can continue on in this direction I, for the moment, I guess. We don't really have a whole lot more to go off of, do we? What the heck? So this doesn't seem to be going super well. It's incredibly dark. I don't know what that effect was. I'd imagine we're getting close to dying. I'm kind of curious to push it just for the sake of it. Okay, yeah, so... Oh my! Hello there, friend! Wow, so now trying to navigate this with... <laughs> Seriously, with this like red and green blur? Alright, well I guess what we can do is follow these little green lights here. Otherwise though, I don't know if there's much else to do. Yeah, it seems like this is all we really have to work with at the moment. Is these little green lights. That music, though! What is that? Like a sea spider of some sort? Dang, I'm not a big fan of... Oh, man, there's so many of them! Ew! And this music? Oh, I do not like this. I do not like this. Just gotta follow the lights. Just gotta follow the lights, Simon. There are no such thing as sea spiders, you tell yourself. One of them is gonna attack me. Which way do I go? It's dark both ways. So which way do I go? My flashlight does like all of nothing. Okay. Oh, you're kidding me. There's something down here trying to kill me. You can see the, like, very faint static on the screen. Which almost certainly means I am not alone down here. There is something else wandering these caverns? Maybe we can call them? trying to kill me. I think it was earlier though, actually. So I think we're headed in the right direction, more or less. We're starting to curve back a little bit though. I'm gonna try and stick more to the right if I can. Seems we hit maybe a loading zone of some sort. There's another light, and I don't see any more spiders, which is nice. Really, game? <laughs> Literally, as I say that, the game's like, I heard you missed the spiders. One of them is totally going to jump right on my face. And it's going to, like, obstruct the whole screen and everything. You know, we, we still haven't seen the giant squids or the anglerfish, have we? I doubt they're going to let me get through this segment without seeing one of those. Is that... Is that my friend? Oh, no, 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 not my friend. Definitely not my friend. Oh, and that's not my friend either. Alright, so we're gonna... We're gonna back it up a little bit. We're gonna keep on backing up. Oh, come on, man. You really about to do this to me? It's still coming over here. Can you please leave? Please? Oh no, come on, man. How am I gonna get out of here? I can try to go around to the right, I guess? It's coming. Alright, so here's a branch point, right? It can, it, it can either follow me in this direction or it can go the other way. That might be my chance. So, here it comes. Oh boy, this is tense. 
course, I'm like talking about, oh yeah, there's no way they'll let me get through this segment without there being an anglerfish encounter. And well, there's your anglerfish encounter, guys. That thing is creepy looking. I also love, it worked exactly as planned, right? <laughs> I was like, oh crap, that light is where I need to like stay safe. And the game had me super conditioned to follow the lights. I come out of this cave and immediately go to the light. And it's like, nope, nope, nope. That's not the light you want to go to. Love it. Worked super well. Okay. I also noted our, well, not necessarily friend was on the right, correct? Okay, so things did not seem to be going very well there. Should I approach him? I don't think that's a good idea. Oh no. So, a couple things. It's super dark, one. Secondly, is this the light? Alright, I, I don't really know what to do here, guys. I have, like, a sneaking suspicion maybe we need to manipulate the, uh, the anglerfish and its light to try to make it through, but I think I might just need to straight up sprint towards the lights that are clearly visible over there, because they're actually a bit closer than I would like, or than I, you know, feel super comfortable with. Where are we going? We're, at this point, we're just kind of blindly following the lights. There's plenty of static letting me know we are clearly not alone here. <laughs> In fact, we're very not alone. And what we're accompanied by is something that is very not nice. But at this point, I can hardly see. And it seems if I take too long in the dark, I die, right? So I have to sprint from light to light. Given the limited visibility, I wouldn't be surprised if there was a jump scare coming up sometime soon. But we'll go from this light to the next one. At this point, that's all we really can do. And so far, fingers crossed, it's, it's going okay. And it looks like that might even be a door up ahead. So the end might be in sight. It's almost certainly in sight, given that we just saved. Okay. Do we make it to Tau? What is that off in the distance? I don't like it. I think we made it to Tau, guys. Oof, that was a pretty tense segment, guys. Yeah, that's Tau. And it definitely looks like it's seen better days. So we've gained access. Does it need to drain? Yeah, it seems like it. Alright, we'll wait patiently for that to happen. Ah, my vision is clear again. Alright. Oops. Good old loading. So now we get to experience whatever happened at Tau. Clearly some not good stuff, right? This is presumably where the Ark is. It's where the Ark... Never been happier to be inside. Let's find the Ark. Yeah, I was gonna say... This is where it's supposed to be, but it's also where whatever prevented the Ark from moving on is also. So, I'm not super reassured by this whole scenario. We could go that way. I kind of want to see what's going on over here, though. What is this little room here? This is another diving room, isn't it? Anything of interest in these lockers? Doesn't seem so, at least not at first glance. Data buffer, nice. Welcome to Tau, what's left of it. Are you guys alright? What happened here? We ran out of real food long ago. People have been getting sick. 
Haven't heard from anyone in months. No shit, they all think you're dead down here. Some failed evac story circulating at Omicron. Oh, God. Listen, son. We're on an important mission, and we need your help to operate the Omega space gun. When it's done, we can all head back up the plateau. But now we need to get moving. Of course. Head on through to the habitat. We shut off the front section to preserve power. All right. See you soon. So that's clearly telling us where we need to go. But, um... We will take our time. Anything interesting going on in here? Doesn't seem so, actually. And we're not going to be turning that on. Alright, well, I guess... We'll head to the habitat. The real question is... It used to be habitat for humans. What's using it as a habitat now, though? What? What is going on? I have no idea what that means. But I guess we'll use this because, again, I'm afraid I'll not come back to it slash miss it and it's like some sort of collectible. Even though I know there's going to be a time inevitably later on where my vision is all blurry because I get attacked by a monster and I'm like, oh, I have to deal with this filter for so long. What the heck is that going on in the background? Those sound effects are crazy. Super creepy. Alright, what are we going to find in here? Uh, so far, I mean, we can go through there. What's on this computer? A map? Okay. Tau is a pretty big place. <laughs> and it seems like there's a lot to explore. So we go from maintenance to the laboratories to the living area. That's going to be the habitat, I'm sure. Can we do something with this? No. Okay, anything with these other computers? No, it doesn't seem like it. We have a machine here. Clearly a lot going on. Listen to that, guys. The sound design. It's so spooky. We know we're getting into some, you know, some not-so-good stuff. And things, just, this area is progressively getting much, much worse. As we get closer and closer to that habitat. So we should be in the laboratory section now. It sounds like something is, like, grumbling, like it's ready to eat. There are so many locks on this door, guys. There's no way there's anything good behind this. I'm so ready to run. Like, the door's gonna open, something is just gonna attack us. What? That's that was actually the case? Oh wait. That's actually the case. We opened the door and something was there to attack us immediately. What is that? That was some creepy looking thing. And it was right there ready to attack us as soon as we opened the door. Of course. And now I don't have that thing to heal. The question is now where is it, right? Is that it there? I don't know. It's clearly getting closer though. Oh, that's totally it right in front of us. Oh, yeah, time to run. <laughs> Sorry, bud, but uh, you know, I've got some prior plans. I'm trying to hang out with some friends and I'm sorry, but just, you know, you chasing me all over the place isn't really conducive to doing that. Also, oh my god, could these doors take any longer to open? Come on. Oh my goodness, we're not even... 
It's almost... Dude, you gotta go fast. Ah, crap. We're dead. We're so dead. It's right there. And it's about to lock in on us. Yep, we're dead. Oof. I think the flashing images are different depending on what enemy kills you. Wow. Very well designed monster. I love the aesthetic of it. It's super cool. And this area's challenge is clearly we're trying to get around, but we also can't just open doors immediately because doors take forever to open. So we're going to want to try and get around the area. We can outrun this monster, which is really important to know. That's some very valuable information we learned. Um, but we're going to need to open doors pretty quickly as we run around the area. It's the dive room. I don't know what's been... All right, so here's what's going to happen. We're going to close the door real quick. And we're going to chill for a moment while we assume that we've released the monster, I think. I'm a little bit more oriented as to where we are now. So we need to turn right and go all the way down the hallway. And then that door that took forever to open is going to be on our right. That's where the monster was released from. That's going to be where we have to go. We're going to need to walk through there and find our way to the habitat eventually. But as you guys might be anticipating, we're going to do that in the next episode. This one was a little bit short, but... Oh boy, do we have a lot ahead of us in Tau. So I hope you guys are looking forward to just as much as I am. This monster is really cool. I'm excited for this segment. And I'm excited to see what we learn about the Ark and Tau and maybe even Phi. But until the next episode, this has been Night Zero, and this mission is complete.